Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for today, Wednesday, December 20th, 2017. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Honorable Mark Brantley has been sworn in as the fourth Premier of Nevis. In a ceremony held on Tuesday, December 19th at the High Court in Charlestown, Brantley took the oath of allegiance and the oath of office administered by resident judge Pauletta Lands. Hi. Mark Anthony Graham Brantley. Mark Anthony Graham Brantley. Do swear. Do swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to law. According to law. So help me God. So help me God. I. Mark Anthony Graham Brantley. Mark Anthony Graham Brantley. Do swear. Do swear. That I will honor. That I will honor. Uphold. Uphold. And preserve the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis. And preserve the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis. And the law. And the law. That I will conscientiously. That I will conscientiously. Impartially. Impartially. And to the best of my ability, and to the best of my ability, discharge my duties as Premier of Nevis, discharge my duties as Premier of Nevis, and do right to all manner of people, and do right to all manner of people, without fear or favor, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. Having been appointed Premier of Nevis by Acting Deputy Governor General Marjorie Morton, Mr. Brantley addressed those attending the ceremony. I wish to say as your new Premier that I propose to govern with humility. I propose to seek advice. I propose to listen. The ordinary division should feel comfortable coming to this government, bringing your concerns, your ideas, because certainly it is you who have decided that we are the ones that you would wish to make your servants in chief. We are the ones who you have given this tremendous opportunity to serve you. And so we would wish to have an open door where you can come and you can share your views, your concerns, your opinions, and help us to govern in a manner that is most beneficial to all. I propose an administration that will be inclusive and whilst it is the nature of our politics that it is divisive and partisan, I believe the campaign is now over. And so it is important that with the campaign being behind us, that all divisions now hold hands and come together and try to do our very best to develop our island. Premier Brantley also used the opportunity to express thanks to a number of persons. I called Lady Sheila and asked her to be here because her husband of blessed memory was as a father to me and he mentored me and he helped me and whilst he's not here today to witness this occasion I feel that if he was he would be proud that I am standing in a position where he hitherto stood and Lady Sheila I want to thank you for lending him to us for the time that he was here I think that he has served me as well and that he has helped me and molded me and if I fail the failings are mine if I succeed, he would have contributed to that success. I want also to thank, even though they're not here, I am hopeful that perhaps there's some place better and they can hear me, my own father and mother, Irvin Brantley and Cynthia Williams. I think that if they were here, that they would have been proud. And I thank them. And I thank you. Thank you. Premier Brantley's political party, the Concerned Citizens Movement, won four of the five contested seats in the Monday, December 18th, Nevis Island Assembly elections. As noted by the Premier, a date for the official ceremony for the formal swearing-in of the entire NIA cabinet will be given subsequently. 
Meantime, following yesterday's ceremony, we spoke to former Premier Vance Emery, who was among those congratulating Nevis's new Premier, the Honourable Mark Brantley. Well, well, today I think is a very special day and I want to certainly congratulate our new Premier, uh, Honourable Mark Brantley. And I, I've, I do believe that, Mark, you will do an excellent job. And for my, on my own part, I'm always willing and I will hope I'll be able to help in any way. I think the people of Nevis deserves the leadership which you will give. I think they have shown, they have reposed their confidence in you. And I know that you will not let them down. As a matter of fact, I think you will elevate them to higher levels and greater heights based on the platforms which we have together set over the years. And so to you, may you have a wonderful term. As, as Premier. God bless you. God be with you. Vance Amory was the Premier of Nevis for some 19 years, from 1992 to 2006 and 2013 to 2017. The Customs and Excise Department here on Nevis has extended its opening hours for the Christmas season. Deputy Comptroller at the Department, Roger Fifield, outlined the reason for the extension. Effective tomorrow, Thursday the 21st and Friday the 22nd of December 2017, we are extending our opening hours as follows. The courier located in Charlestown in the Daniel Deck building would be open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on both days, that is Thursday and Friday. The parcel post at the Charleston Post Office will be open from 8 a.m. and closes at 5 p.m. At Long Point, the warehouse would open the usual time 8 and would close at 6. And this is to facilitate, you know, the number or the amount of cargo that um, we are anticipating over the next two days. Fifield noted that there will be added security at the Long Point port for the next two days. So when you come, um, we ask you kindly to cooperate with um, the security officials and of course the customs officers. We'll be having um, barricades and uh, so, you know, so have a better control of the flow of, of traffic. Um, we're going to also erect a tent on the ramp so persons could be shaded from the sun or in the event that there is rain, you know, there could be some shelter from the rain. So these are some, some measures that we have put in place um, for this Christmas season. And uh, we are hoping that all would um, adhere to them and to cooperate as we strive to serve you and facilitate trade. The Deputy Comptroller said that in the event persons are unable to collect packages and wish to send someone to collect them, an authorization letter should be sent. You know, it could be something very simple as, uh, you know, a two-line letter addressed to the Deputy Comptroller of Customs, Mr. Senu Kiri, and you would want to say in that um, letter, please allow Peter Paul to clear my cargo out of the customs control and you would sign that that document that letter and you would also give the person who is clearing the package for you a copy of your id a government issued id bearing your signature if you don't want to give the person the actual id you can photocopy the id but the important thing is that it must be a valid id it must be a government issued id and that id should be a your signature as the address and then that person would be allowed to clear your cargo. Deputy Comptroller at the Customs and Excise Department, Roger Fifield. Still to come, health workers honored for dedicated service. The details after this break. My name is Greg Phillip. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Nevis Tourism Authority. Nevis Mango and Food Festival has been around for four years and in our view it is one of the most unique festivals anywhere mainly because of what it does. You see it celebrates the mango. We have over 40 different varieties of mangoes on Nevis plus a very very rich and good culinary scene and we've put those two things together so once you dine at this Nevis Mango and Food Festival believe me 
you're dining on food that has never been created before because every single chef that cook at this festival have one excellent challenge. The challenge is everything you cook, every course of every meal must include mangoes from Nick's. Welcome back. Six persons were recognized for their contributions to the Alexandra Hospital and the Public Health Unit at the Alexandra Hospital's annual pre-Christmas program. Three were recognized from the Alexandra Hospital and three from the Public Health Unit. Nurse Manager Laurel Smithen was awarded for her dedicated service to nursing, in particular at the operating room, for 37 years. She spent four years in St. Kitts and 33 in Nevis. She was presented with a certificate and a fruit basket. Miss Lolita Williams was awarded for her 10-year contribution to the housekeeping department. She was presented with a certificate and food basket. Mr. Anthon, the dancing orderly, Hicks, who recently retired from the service, was awarded with a plaque for his dedication to duty spanning April 2001 to September 2017. Miss Shirley Wilkes was awarded for her dedication to service during her 10 tenure at the Public Health Unit and the Health Education Unit. Mr. William Parkins, the bus driver in the Ministry of Health, was also presented with a plaque for his dedication to duty. Archdeacon Alson Percival was awarded for his contribution to health by making space available on the church premises for food handlers' clinics. Deaconess Brown received a plaque on his behalf. The Public Health Unit also recognized the Community Health Nursing Services for its outstanding performance during 2017. Minister of Health, the Honorable Mark Brantley, made the presentations to the awardees. The Nevis Historical and Conservation Society, NHCS, is inviting the public, residents and visitors to support its 2017 Christmas Bazaar, an initiative which showcases the products of local art and craft vendors. This year, the featured vendors are Deborah Tyrrell, Laurie Blackett and Yvonne Rogers, as well as Executive Director of the NHCS, Nicole Liburd. They have very beautiful items. And one of the other vendors is our very own Nicole Leibert, our executive director. She makes very original soups, all made from local materials in Nevis. These are very beautiful items, and all of you should come and patronize the museums. When you buy an item that is displayed here, you go a long way to assist the vendors produce more and more and your money will help preserve the history and heritage of Nevis and protect the environment. We also have other books of personalities who have made an impact in the world and in Nevis and St. Kitts and in the Caribbean. We have very many titles on Alexander Hamilton, and these are books that are very relevant to you or to your family members. You should buy a copy. We also sell very many cookbooks where you can get recipes for the Christmas meals. The NHCS is also using the opportunity to promote its 2018 calendar. This calendar is very, very unique. It has pictures of heritage sites as they were in yesteryears and as they are today. It's a very, very nice gift for a friend or a relative. It's a very unique gift and it will help you learn more about Nevis history and heritage. The NHCS Christmas Bazaar at the Alexander Hamilton Museum will remain open until Friday, December 23rd. And that brings us to the end of this edition of the Nevis Newscast. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.